Wow, very bright, very good. Um, addendum to the stuff I said in the other video. Basically, <laughs> you don't know even which video is which one. Um, this boomer doomer coming around and all that shit. Um, somehow I feel like it's a blessing in disguise. And uh, I think it's kind of a karma. I would say it's karma. Uh, basically all the fucking boomers treating you like shit selling stuff very expensive and uh, not wanna paying the price you know and I think there's like this cosmic karma thing and this shit uh, accumulated over the years and that's why we're here today because I think that's what they're all paying for you know for being this scroogey all these years never ever giving like uh, you know a flat to rent place to stay whatever man this shit is like really not cool oh fuck man it's like a public to a toilet but uh, it's like a place i can't i can go there it's basically not allowed yeah and uh, what i wanted to say is like i kind of have the chance to uh move in to a very big old flat with a boomer with a nice old lady okay I won't I won't complain about this fact but uh, it's like it's like you know she tells me back in my day you know back in my day people just moved in here and that's it well turns out years have passed you know it's not 1920 anymore it's 2020 you know it's like 100 years later and you won't believe this okay hear me out on this rules change you know stuff changes and, uh, and then there is like a person in my family talking shit like you know that's all old people you gotta like cut him some slack and I say uh, yeah now nah. if I ever become like such a fucking retarded boomer then I'm not able to know what's happening around me I'd say, uh, gas me, you know, like, kill me, man, off me, dude, that's totally what I deserve, because, uh, this shit is ridiculous, man, what I have to put up with to get a cheap fucking renting place, and it's because, like, in Germany, you don't have space, per se, only on borders where nobody want to live, and when you find a space, then it's somewhat, <laughs> somewhat cheap to, you know, like, 50,000 euros, then you can like get a flat somewhat decent one but then you have to drive like three hours a day and there's that or you you know like you become a landlord and sell this shit to some other dude who's paying the rent for you but uh first of all convince your fucking bank in giving you a fifty thousand dollar euro loan sorry this would be i don't know sixty thousand dollars something along these lines find somebody who gives you this fucking big amount of a loan and then uh, then you can build your fucking house you have to wait in the meantime you have to pay for your debt you know the shit accumulates everything accumulates all the time the good and the bad stuff especially the worst uh, the bad stuff you know very 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 soon you get very very poor and then you find a dude who might rent your place and then you have to make sure you find the right guy who pays the rent all the fucking time because laws in here in Germany um, they kind of are in favor of the dude renting the place you know I don't know what's the proper word right now but it's a uh, it's basically um, yeah you're screwed man if you're the landlord you're screwed in Germany you're screwed on so many levels you won't believe it and this uh, panics you know this this reaches out a kind of a certain level of panic and people get scared when people get scared they want don't want to be a landlord they want don't want to want you to to move in you know they don't want you to you know fill out the papers to move in properly they don't want the full process because they get scared because back in the day we didn't do this shit you know and now everything's different and everything is bad because paper is bad no shit Sherlock man you think I'm enjoying this shit you think I'm enjoying running from A to B to C to D in my spare time 
I'd rather just fucking study. Finish this, uh, you know, this college thingy. And uh, there is that. But this shit drags on and on, man. You know, and uh, instead of accepting the, pa uh, the, the fact, you know, that shit changes. No, they make a big act and a fuss out of it. And like a relative in my family, like, yeah, cut him some slack, you know. Fuck you, fuck you. You're the worst of them all, you know. You're like, uh, you're the ultimate doomer. Boomer. Why am, I, why am I saying doomer? You're the ultimate boomer, you know. Like, with your retarded behavior, man. Like, seriously. Like, from one cool to suck to the next one. This is like, total gridlock in your life, man. Get your fucking life together. It's so fucking pathetic, you know. When, when I was 14, I found out that you're broke. And later on, you're still broke, man. And I'm, I'm uh, in some kind of fucking college, you know. Financed by employment, I don't know. And even I got my shit together. And you know, I, I did a lot of hardcore drugs back in my day. And uh, I, I want to be honest, it fucked up my head a little bit. But still, man, still that, you know, like... Even I got my shit together. This, this tells you a lot. You know, like, fuck man, how fucking stupid people are. They can't get their shit together, you know? Uh, you might think a crackhead is a retard or something. I'm gonna take a piss right here. Uh, you might think a crackhead is some kind of a retard, but you don't know how smart a crackhead is, you know? You just see an addict. Uh, addiction doesn't really tell you that much of a person. I, I bet there are some college professors out there who are like, who turned into crackheads. It's actually quite a nice story. I should write that shit down. But uh, the point I'm getting is, is uh, kind of, don't, don't you dare thinking that somebody who is addicted to a hardcore illegal drug is retarded or stupid. Like, so many people are sober and yet they act like the on heavy, uh, I don't know, drugs, you know, like heavy antidepressants, shit like that. And it fucking amazes me day after day, year after year, you know, I write these little notes about how retarded I am and how retarded my society is. And when I ride my bicycle, I write how retarded other cyclists are. And uh, when I drive my car, it's the same, you know, the same rules apply. But wow, man. It never ceases to amaze me how fucking retarded everyone is, including me. And it's like, uh, I wonder if, uh, you know, we are just here, right now, right here, because like, uh, just mere fucking coincidence, uh, besides uh, the rules of, you know, what is it, uh, Darwin and that shit, yeah, evolution, yeah, that's the word I was looking for. It's not just evolution, it's kind of, uh, I bet you. We could have progressed like 100,000 years earlier if like, I, I, I guess 99% of all the people are total fuck, fuck ups, retards. And uh, because of that, we're slowly evolving and progressing. Like these 99 people, 99% of the people, these, these numbers push us down. And we just, we just acknowledge it's like, yeah, okay. It has always been like this. So let's just stay this way. And I clearly say fuck off with that, you know? We could progress way more if we want it. But it's uh, the same old, same old powers that be. And yeah, I've kind of uh, took a piss and I've kind of reached my goal. And uh, I feel like, you know, emotionally stable now. <laughs> this, was, this was very therapeutical. Thank you for listening and have a great day or night or whatever. Bye.